Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss a question on gantry gutter. A crane with two wheels per side. A crane with two wheels per side has a capacity of capacity of 50 kN weight of crane ok so the weight of crane is 1000 kN weight of crab is 10 kN and the span of crane is 12 meter 12 meter find the maximum static wheel load find the maximum static wheel load at the total load on the wheel so if you see the question a crane with two wheels per side we know that so that uh, for a crane or for a truss we are having two gantry gutters on both sides on each side we are having two wheels now that uh, truss will have a capacity of 50 kN means it can take the load of 50 kN and the self weight of truss is 100 kN and the weight of the crab is 10 kN and the span of the truss is 12 meter that is given now he is asking us to find the maximum static wheel load with a hook clearance of 1 meter from the wheel. Agree or not? So first we have to draw the diagram. Clear. After that we have to go for calculating the maximum static wheel load. Clear. So coming to the solution. So first we have to draw the diagram. So first take a truss or crane. Okay, this is the truss or crane. Clear? So now this is supported on a wheel. So now this is the taken as a support. I am going to take a, this as a support. Clear? So from this support at a 1 centimeter, 1 meter, there exists a trolley like this. Trolley. So now in the question it is given that this trolley can take a load of 50 kN. Obviously load is supported by the trolley and its self weight is 10 kN. So this is the total load on trolley. Agree? And if we see the span. So how much it is given in the question? The span 12 meter. The span is 12 meter. That is given. Agree? And the weight of crane is 100 kN. We know that it is the self weight of the crane. So obviously we are going to consider it as a UDR. So like this. So how much? 100 kN by length. 12. How much it is? 8.3 kN per meter. So this is the self weight. Self weight of the truss. Now he is asking us to find the maximum static wheel load. This is the thing. So now give it a, take it as A and B. And we know that from strength of materials concept, for example, this is a beam, simply supported beam, A and B. And if load is here, okay, load is here, at which support the maximum reaction will occur? Obviously at A. Agree or not? Obviously at A, maximum reaction will occur. In the same way, the, the condition that is mentioned in the question, for this condition, 
the max or reaction will occur at TA. So it means it is simple to find the reaction at TA, that's it. Okay, find the reaction at TA. How to find the reaction at TA? By taking the moment about B. Okay, by taking the moment about B, we can find the reaction about TA. So take summation of moment about B is equal to zero implies. So that VA, so name it, this is VA, reaction VA, and this is VB. Now the, the VA about this A will cause clockwise moment. Agree or not? So it means VB into 12. And these loads 50 kN, it's self-weight and it's dead weight. Or sorry, self-weight and the load of the crab is 60 kN. And obviously this is the limit state method. So we have to multiply it with a load factor. So it means 1.5 into 60. So it is 90 kN, factor load. Here also we should multiply with factor 1.5 into 8.3. It is 12.45 kN per meter. So the factor load we should consider. Agree? So now this 90 kN cause will cause a anti-clockwise moment about V. Agree or not? Anti-clockwise moment. So now minus 90 into 11. Minus, so this UDL will also cause anti-clockwise moment about B. So how much this factor UDL? 12.45 into 12 into 6 is equal to 0. So from this, can we find VB or not? Come on, find it VB is the value. Use Calci. So use Calci for this calculation. 12.45 into 12 into 6 plus 19 to 11. So that should be divided by 12. So how much it is 157.2 kN. Not B, sorry, A. How much? 157.2 kN. That is a reaction. Okay, this is a reaction at A. But at this A, there exists a two wheels. Agree or not? There exists a two wheels. Now obviously, what is the reaction from the each wheel? Or the stat maximum static wheel load. Okay, there exists two wheels, so the maximum static wheel load is half of this. It means 157.2 by 2. So how much it is? So it comes out to be 78.6. So this is the answer. So this is how to calculate maximum static wheel load. Take it out. That's simple. So this is the procedure for the calculation of maximum static wheel load. So in this case, so in this case, so this is the maximum static wheel load. So for a vertical load, if it is EOT, then this should be increased by 25%. For MOT, it should be increased by 10%. For lateral load, so that those conditions we have seen. So this is the procedure for the calculation of maximum static wheel load. Take it so here you say, once look at the board, here you say, here the wheels will present, so the wheels are going to transfer the toe to the right, from the right it is transferred to the gantry cutter. So this is the truss. So as I said, the gantry cutter will exist on both sides of the truss. So truss will move perpendicular to the board and the trolley will move like this. So this is the clearance.